The Delta variant is being called COVID-19 on steroids. Cases are increasing in nearly half of U.S. states. Word is if you're vaccinated, you are highly protected. But some experts are starting to ask if it's time to start testing those who've been vaccinated to ensure the Delta variant does not evade the effects of the vaccine. Joining me on the morning show, epidemiologist Dr. Jonathan Cantor, an epidemiologist with the Penn Center for Epidemiology. Good morning. There are some studies that suggest that the guidelines for COVID testing should be revisited because the CDC is only reporting on what they call breakthrough infections causing severe disease. But there may be a lot of people with mild symptoms or who are asymptomatic and worry is that that could cause a major spread to those who are not vaccinated. Might they be silent spreaders? Well, I think this is very similar to the concern that was raised you know, early on in the pandemic when we had this realization uh, that you know, there were these healthy young adults or even children who could be fairly asymptomatic or think they just have a sniffle or something like that. Uh, but meanwhile, they have the potential to, uh, to spread COVID. So I think we're seeing that same concern uh, occur now. Uh, what we are doing in the U.S. right now, where we have sort of decided unilaterally uh, that if you've been vaccinated, you A, don't really need to wear a mask, and you B, uh, don't have to worry about being tested, uh, those are, are sort of unique to this country. I and mean, there are certainly other countries with the same approach. Uh, but it's important for Americans to understand uh, that many other countries are taking different approaches to that uh, in an attempt to really try to quell the spread of COVID-19, particularly uh, with the concern that's been raised around the Delta variant. Now you're talking about Israel. Uh, hospitalizations are up here. The Delta variant accounted for more than 51% of new COVID infections nationwide here in the U.S., according to CDC estimates last month. Here in Florida, accounted for more than 13% as of the middle of June. That's up from 2.5% at the beginning of the month. Now some health experts say this is just the beginning and we may be in for a very dangerous fall or even winter. As a result, might we see a return to mask mandates unless more people get vaccinated? Well, I think, uh, you know, around the country, I think that may be a concern. I think there may become a trend uh, as we're seeing uh, in Israel, as we're seeing in Europe, uh, towards considering mask mandates, even for those who've been vaccinated, uh, just because of the potential to spread the Delta variant. Uh, I doubt, uh, given uh, the signals that the governor has sent, uh, that we're going to be looking at that in Florida, unless the, uh, the data changed significantly at this point. Uh, given the data that we're seeing now, though, uh, with the Delta variant on the rise, certainly elsewhere in the country, uh, I would not be surprised if we saw that uh, taking place. All right, we're getting mixed signals about the need for a booster. Pfizer said it's seeing waning immunity from its vaccine and it's picking up efforts to develop a booster dose. In fact, it wanted to get FDA approval in August. It's going to meet with the FDA today, but both the FDA and CDC said not so fast. We're not so sure it's needed right now. A lot of us were vaccinated in January, been six months. Time to consider a booster in your opinion? Yeah, well, you know, this is uh, sort of one of these unprecedented situations. Uh, Pfizer's been signaling for a couple months now uh, that they're thinking that a vaccine, that a booster may be necessary. Uh, they signaled this a few months ago. Uh, the Pfizer CEO last month uh, said something to the same effect. And then, of course, at the end of last week, uh, uh, in an unprecedented response, the uh, FDA and CDC issued a joint response saying not so fast. Uh, so, you know, it's very interesting to see what's going to play out here. I think there are two things at issue. One is the concern by Pfizer, which, uh, you know, presumably is based on data um, that is coming out now uh, that is suggesting that the vaccine wanes in its effectiveness. Uh, at least against any type of infection. Uh, the flip side of that, of course, is that the vaccine remains highly effective even after this period of time against severe infection, which is what people worry about the most. I think FDA and CDC are really trying to signal uh, that they're trying to use the science here. Unfortunately, the timing of these announcements, of course, uh, makes uh, for kind of a cacophony uh, of different noises and different signals that are coming out. And I think that's leading to some confusion, uh, both among uh, the American public and among public health professionals. And there are still a lot of people hesitant to get, get the vaccine for political reasons, false information, other reasons. You've got the Delta variant that's spreading like wildfire, the likelihood of other variants spreading. Your advice to them right now? Well, I think the key thing, uh, you know, that I would show on a personal level is that, you know, I'm not a vaccine fundamentalist. I'm not somebody who says, uh, you know, everybody should get vaccines immediately, uh, that every child uh, in America 
uh, needs to be vaccinated. I think you always have to look at what are the risks and what are the benefits, both for you as an individual and for us as a society. And I think that's really what needs to drive it. Uh, I'm certainly not saying that vaccines don't have potential side effects. I'm certainly not saying um, that the data for children has become conclusive yet in terms of what that risk benefit ratio is. Uh, but I think, you know, for many adults, I think it makes sense. Certainly vaccines have very, very small risks associated with them. Uh, but getting COVID-19, we know, has larger and much more significant risks. So the key thing to remember is that your alternative to getting a vaccine is not that you're going to live happily ever after. Your alternative to getting a vaccine is a fairly good likelihood that you yourself are going to get COVID. COVID and or that you're going to spread it to somebody else. And there's a new UF study out that says that if you have major complications from COVID-19 down the road, you're at risk of winding up in the hospital. Again, you'll find that story on News for Jacks. Dr. Cantor, always a pleasure. Thanks.